Well, as Florida braces for the impact of Hurricane Irma and states like Georgia, South Carolina now prepare for inland flooding, what do you need to include in the disaster kit for emergencies like this? Here with that important information, Cheryl Nelson, meteorologist and weather and preparedness advisor for, is it Cummins? Yeah, you said it right. There Cummins, we go. Yes. Okay, so a lot of it you would have had to bought, you'd had to buy already, but there's some things in your own home that you, you need to think about. Right, as Hurricane Irma approaches, hopefully you have your kit in place. If you don't, things you have in your house, gather them all together and put them in one spot. Right. So one thing people may not think about is money, single dollar bills of at least $100. I say that because after a storm, ATMs probably won't work. People don't have change for a 20, so you want oh. single dollar okay. bills. Another thing to have is a cell phone charger because if you lose power, which many people will, you want to keep your devices charged if they still work, mm -hmm. that is. Yep. How about a whistle? If a tree falls on your roof and it caves in, you're yelling for help, you lose your voice, you have a whistle to draw attention to sure. yourself. I, we wouldn't yep. have even thought of that. That's a great idea. Yeah, exactly. And then a picture of you and your pet together to prove ownership. If you get separated, you never know what could happen. Also have their rabies vaccinations, other paperwork from the vet as well. Well, and this you can't necessarily do at the last minute, but this is something for people watching in other states who want to prepare for hurricanes is a Cummins residential generator. It's a standby generator. Mm -hmm. It hooks up directly to your house and turns on the second power goes off. And this is great to have, too, because it's not portable. You don't have to worry about filling it with gasoline. It's going to be there for the duration right. of your power. And outage. you may have millions of people without oh, yeah. power from the storm. And it seems like a lot of the stuff here is to help people with with that if their power. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Flashlights and batteries, of course. I have a cool little glow stick light here. You also have this I like is a fan with a water bottle spray. So you love hot, that. Pete. You can spray yourself. <laughs> you yeah, we should cool. have filled it up and tried yeah. it on him. But that's a good thing. The first aid kit to have a mask. You never know what the air quality yep. is going to be like after yep. a disaster with dust and whatnot. I mean, I could go on and on down. Is there the a line place there. people can go? to get these tips? Yes, homegenerators.cummins.com slash ahead of the storm has all the information. Okay, and we'll put that on our website as well. Perfect, so thank Cheryl you Nelson. so much. The only thing I would add to this is a gun, just saying. You know, with looters, I, I can't have I one know, in studio. I know, yeah, I didn't bring, yeah. Didn't do and that and some meat of some sort. And some meat, of course. Thank you, Cheryl. Well, thank we're you. tracking Hurricane Irma as it barrels forward in Florida. Rick has the latest on the storm's path next. Prudential asked these couples,